Ooh. What's up, YouTube? Coming back at you with another outdoor season video. This is episode five from Organic Soil Sensei. All right, so we got some explosive growth here. As you can see, these tomatoes uh, are overtaking the bed. I had to take out one and two tomato plants here because they were just overgrowing the bed. So the foliage started dying on this plant here. So I cut it back just a little bit. And you see we now got some healthy green growth there. Got this big tomato plant here. I couldn't get it through this cage, it's too small. This is the only size they had. But if you get up in here and you look, Got some little bitty tomatoes growing there. Sprouting off in there, man, it looks awesome. Got some here, got some growing up there, right here, Ooh, that's in the way. So overall, we got some healthy growth. So here we got some purple green beans sprouting all over the place, man, look at that. This is awesome. My first time ever growing these. These are the blooms here. And the blooms die off and they turn into these green beans. Just wanted to see if they'll grow in my zone. They're supposed to. And we got this big old juicy carrot right here. Big juicy carrot, man. That's just one carrot there. See, my clover is uh, overgrowing the bed. I'm going to have to do something about that. But anyways, isn't this the biggest seen oh my god dude, this is massive this is massive that okra there is massive man holy cow got some more growing up there in a the bunch they're all starting to sprout right up here in between but chad yeah, look at the, um, the stock size on this plant man really the stock size on all these plants it comes from the rice holes that i put in the soil and they turn into silica. And you see the pumice all down here. All the white pumice. But yeah, look at these green green beans right here. Little strings growing. This is awesome. Got a bunch of growth, man. This is one green bean plant. I've got a uh, yellow bell pepper plant. Excuse me, red bell pepper plant here. It's not doing too well. It's overcrowded through all this foliage. And we got some... Um, Chili pekins here that are growing. Little bitty green ones. Oops. There. So they turn green, red, yellow, orange. I've even seen some turn purple when it's cold. But these are um, just three big chili pekin bunches here all along the side. And then um, I've got a green bell pepper plant here it's just starting to bloom. You can see the little bloom down there. I put some uh, down to earth flower girl in here. I need to go get some um, some more. It's about time to top dress again. I top dressed about two weeks ago. But yeah, these are just really short and squatting. These chili pekins just keep branching off in the different plants. What I find really awesome about these tomato plants is this was never here. It's a new shoot. See, I kind of trimmed this up and this just popped out of nowhere. So. That's how these tomatoes have been growing. They just pop out of nowhere and start blooming. But man, this is massive, like ridiculously massive, man. This is like one of the biggest tomato plants I've ever seen in my life, just growing like wildfire. So I just wanna encourage you guys, you know, go check out Build a Soil, man. This guy's the real deal. Uh, his name is Jeremy Silva, but this is an outdoor garden bed. Oh, got a predator on there. I just sprayed with Nemo all last night, so not too sure why he's on there. Jay's on there. But yeah, just look at the massive stalk size. Uh, a little bit of uh, nature super cropping right there. There's a big heavy storm and it's super cropped my plant, but you, as you can see, when nature super crops your plants, they still grow. 
really wild. Just look at all these branches, man. They're thick. This is like almost as big as my finger, man. Like, if not even bigger. Oh, look, we got some bigger ones down there, but I had to put a metal stake in, more bamboo sticks all over the place. See, I got these ties here. Got all these ties just on different branches. Just trying to hold it up to support itself. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Right here, um, my next season, I'll have about four separate soil beds. And I'll be doing okra in one bed, um, peppers and bell peppers in one bed, carrots and tomatoes in another bed. And I'll be doing a bunch of herbs, a bunch of lavender, basil, thyme, oregano, chamomile. And um, we'll grow along together and see how that goes. But these are all just natural herbs that help to heal you from the inside out. You know, you got these peppers here that are loaded with vitamin C. You got your okra, it's full of antioxidants. You got your green beans, they're full of antioxidants. You got your fresh uh, tomatoes, they're full of uh, vitamin C, vitamin A, antioxidants. The whole nine, man. So the plan is to start eating from the garden as much as possible. So I'm going to duplicate this as much as possible. And I may just do a separate bed of purple and green green beans all together. But you see how they grow? As many times as I've cut these branches off, man, it's just the foliage just comes back to beautiful, really beautiful. I think these uh, purple green beans are nearing their end and they're blooming everywhere. But a lot of the foliage is, uh, I've been cutting it off because it's been in the way. So maybe slow down these ones here in the back, but I don't think they're getting much light back there. But yeah, um, this is a full look of the entire garden bed, man. It's it's huge there's no doubt in that at all but um here got a little surprise there uh -huh, real nice but yeah this is pretty much it on the outdoor series for this season um if you have any questions or if you want to drop a comment chit chat or whatever um i respond back instantly i just want to thank all my people that's been following along this growth series and growing along with me and um we'll catch you on the next one adios